the excitement starting the build, I guess, amongst the group now? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we've had a goal that uh, 16th of March is our first hit out against Port Adelaide, and uh, all our training is uh, sort of re revolve around that. And, um, you know, we're progressing really nicely. Do you have a, an idea now of, of planning for NAB Challenge in terms of guys and what they're going to play and that sort of thing? The, you know, the planning's uh, every week, and uh, not only for, for games, but uh, throughout the pre-season that, you know, we, we have to load up players and deload them, I suppose. Um, and now it's about games. Uh, we've got a first uh, practice match against ourselves probably later next week before we head into North Melbourne. So it's, uh, it's certainly about planning and, and getting the right amount of game time uh, into each player before we get to uh, 16th of March. Injury-wise, you're looking pretty good. Yeah, look, uh, you know, we had a number of guys that uh, had post-season operations and it's been, um, you know, certainly a, a, a juggling act to get to make sure you get enough sort of volume into those guys, but uh, they're, they're progressing really well. So we're, we're more than happy with uh, how everyone's going. It was, almost, it was almost 20 players, wasn't it? 19 or 20 players? 19, I think. Yeah, 19 yeah. that had, yeah. had off-season surgery. Yeah. Does that um, see you going into the season with any trepidation, though, that, you know, because you just one kind of split thing away from a, from a hiccup with any of those guys? Ah, look, you never know, but, you know, it's about careful planning, smart training. And, uh, you know, as I said, we're confident that, uh, you know, we've put in the right programs. You know, not everyone's going to be at the same level, but uh, the most important thing that they've got enough uh, sort of mileage into their legs, enough physical contact. Um, and as I said, they're all tracking along pretty nicely. He's just about back in full training, yep. So, uh, you know, he's on target to, to play practice games. And, uh, you know, as I said, that's what we're, we're after. Dale Thomas. Yeah, Daisy's going really well. Um, his training last week was probably the best uh, he's had. So. Um, as I uh, said, we've said all along that he'd be ready for round one and uh, nothing's changed there. It was widely reported that, that Dale's um, ankle was a concern for Collingwood. Obviously you guys didn't, or were at least prepared to, to take the risk. Now that you've had him for, for a few months, has, has that solidified your view? Uh, we didn't think we were taking a risk. You know, we put enough uh, sort of homework in and, and we knew we were always going to get a smart football. Um, as I said, uh, he's come along and his, his voice, his leadership, um, you know, his ability to play football has certainly add a um, lot, lot to our, our footy side. So, as I said, we, we believe that, uh, you know, everything was uh, above board and that uh, he's trucking along nicely. So, yeah. first, oh, nap, nap, sorry, first nap challenge will we see the Dale then? Ah, yeah, every chance, yep. yep. And, and again, it's about getting enough game time into to all the players. So, whether it's the first nap cup or whether it's the second one, you know, as I said, um, he's about the place. He's as I said, he's training fully, so... Um, Possibly. Have to be managed through the year. Well, I think all players. Get, sure. I think all players get managed throughout the year. You know, and uh, you know, training is about uh, making sure they're ready to go game day. And that, that's the, you know, that's where we want them. We want them out, out playing football. Um, and during the week, you then manage them. But uh, you know, as I said, the season's a long season. Lots of things can happen. So um, you know, as I said, you know, you just take that week by week, really. A player like Chris Judd, would you rest him throughout the NAB Challenge? I, he's yeah. Awesome player and he's been here for so many years, he's done that many pre-seasons, does he need the NAB challenge? Uh, whether you're into your 14th, 15th season or whether into your first, it's about getting enough game time so that you're ready. And you know, Chris probably had uh, only one game last year and that probably wasn't quite enough, so you know, he, he'll probably see a little bit more game time leading into round one. Just, just on Cruiser and that management of him, has his body got to the stage now where he can never really train fully, or is it is it not that bad? Oh no, no, not necessarily. I mean, at the moment, yeah, as I said, he suffered a foot injury last year, and uh, being a big bloke, you know, there's a fair amount of weight goes through that. So, um, one, you know, the injury has to heal properly, which it has, and now it's uh, making sure that you know he, his training's progressed. Because if you go into too much, you can obviously, like any player, that you can put him back. But uh, as I said, he's. Um, Everything that's put in front of Matty Cruiser at the moment, he's, he's uh, taking it taking it up and, uh, and and pulling up really well. Yeah, good question. Um, you know, I think he, he proved last year that you know he's the modern day swingman uh, and uh, he can play both ends and and, and very successfully. So I, I think it's uh, horses for courses and mix really coaches that way that you know he likes to see what the opposition and where you know they're vulnerable and whether you know we can can really sort of access that. So. I think the good thing that you know he's proven both ends. So where he plays during the year is is really uh, you know anyone's guess. And just further on from that, I mean we saw Hawthorne mix it up a hell of a lot uh, last year with players, which probably went a long way to them yep. winning the flag. Do you see Carlton experimenting a lot more with even sort of key position players from forward back that that sort of thing, or will that really depend how the 
this season so that's one problem. I think modern day football is that you need flexibility. You certainly need your players playing their best football in their best position. So, you know, whether it's experimentation or whether we believe that, you know, it's going to be best for that for, for our side on that particular game. Um, Jared Waite, you know, kicked seven goals one game and a couple of weeks later he was playing down back. So um, the most important thing is that they know their roles, that they, they can play at both ends. And as I said, it's, it's really about the opposition we're playing. Chris has got the ability again to play both ends. I think towards the latter part of last year, he ended up playing a little bit in defence. So again, he's got the ability and I think, uh, you know, he, he's shown that a couple of years ago where his uh, explosiveness, his you know, attack out of the back line certainly set up Carlton. So uh, I'm sure that uh, he'll play some football there. What's life like without Eddie Betts? Oh, you just move on. You know, Eddie's decided to go to Adelaide, so uh, Eddie doesn't come into our calculations. We've got 44 on our list, plus uh, an Irishman uh, as international, so that's what we concentrate on. A bit quieter? Ah, <laughs> yeah, no, well, we've got a few chirpy players out there too, so. The game plan of going around the boundary, I think you were number one for boundary last year, do you, do you still see that as a fundamental of the team's plans, or would you look to tinker a bit with that and go, the mix going to change? Not, He's a defensive <laughs> coach. <laughs> But you can sort of, you know, you can tinker a bit and go a bit more attacking, I guess. Clarko said last week that teams will probably look to attack a little bit more, considering... Oh, well, that's, that's up to Hawthorne, you know. We believe that, you know, we've tinkered our, our game plan slightly this year and, uh, and the players really believe in it. And, you know, whether that's going along the boundary line or sometimes coming through the corridor, you know, again, that's uh, the decisions that they make. So... Um, you know, we've got to make sure that you know we're up there with the best sides, such as Fremantle and the defensive side side of things. So, uh, you know, as I said, that's um, that's a part of our game plan that we would really like to improve. Was clean ball use an issue? Oh, was clean ball use an issue last year at all? Uh, look, you know, the more skillful you can get, definitely is going to help your game plan. So, you have the best game plans in the world, and if they break down through skill, ex uh, you know, execution, then you know that's an issue. But you know, training is about the balance of getting our game plan right and also improving our skills. And as I said, that's what we've been concentrating on, and we're really happy where we're at at the moment. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.